Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to is this Dark Sonic? Yeah, Dark Sonic versus Goku Black. Do I really need to say anything? Goku Black. I'm not gonna say will stop, but he will beat Dark Sonic. Just even though, like, if like literally, if there's any matchup with a DBZ character and a Sonic character, I'm automatically going with the Sonic character and I'm DBZ character because even though the weakest, I believe the weak, okay, besides Mr. Satan, the weakest person in the whole DBZ universe has to go to the Cybermen. And even the Cybermans can beat, you know what? <sighs> If any versus debaters are watching this video, please make a video of a Cyberman versus a Sonic character. Please make that happen. If any, um, if any, um, if any debaters watching this video, please make that video happen. A Cyberman versus a, a character from Sonic. <laughs> Actually, that would be pretty interesting. But anyways, yes, this is not about no Cybermen. This is about a Goku Black. Goku Black versus Dark Sonic. And like I said, countless of times already, Goku Black would just stomp. Just stomp. Dark Sonic. I almost said Black Sonic. Dark Sonic. But without further ado, you know what's the original Rick? What link? Look, the original link will be down in the description below for the original video. And guys, go support rewrite whatever this show this is on the screen. Whatever. Anyways, let's get on with the video right now. Animation rewind presents. Rewind Rumble! Everyone has their demons. Even the greatest heroes have dark sides. The important thing oh. is how you tame the beast inside you, because having Goku one Black. is inevitable. Some people do a good job holding back the evil energy, but others have lost or gave up and set the beast free. Bring in Dark Sonic and Goku Black. Both are uniquely known for shepherding such an energy, but battling their yeah. inner demons isn't the only fight they are facing today. <laughs> today, we find out who wins the external fight. Today, we rewind Rumble. Ooh. To truly understand the value of a fight between Goku Black and Dark Sonic, you must first learn and Damn. understand who each of these beings are. Goku Black is best described as the ultimate facade. He isn't actually the Goku we all know and love. His true identity is Zamasu from an unaltered timeline. Yeah. Zamasu plotted a wicked idea to steal the appearance of Goku, used Goku's reputation to confuse those around him, and tried to attack the universe the current Goku is in. Yeah. Speaking of facades, oh, yeah, Dark Sonic shares a similar relation to false powers. But this time, the original Sonic takes victim as host body. As seen in the 67th episode of Sonic X, Sonic finally clashes into Metarex's base. However, he is confronted with a source of energy he wasn't expecting, Fake Chaos Emeralds. Originally, Fake Chaos Emeralds were meant to bear similarity to real Chaos Emeralds, though they possess a different type of power since they were designed to sabotage machinery. Sonic, however, is biological life. Which moves us on to the power of both characters. Goku Black is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, the power, power that's speed, not a skill, strength, and destructive capability. This guy easily took on and beat Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Rage Trunks. All of them are each universal powerhouses in their own right. Yeah. At this scale, this would make Goku Black massively faster than light, universal destructive capability, extremely skilled, and a very fierce and dirty fighter. He has his own black command. 
Kamehameha and Super Black Kamehameha, which, unlike Goku's light colored attacks at that time, blacks were much darker and much more powerful. As for Dark Sonic, for yes, yes. power, we can use the old Emerald Multiplication Formula. It takes seven authentic Chaos Emeralds to increase Sonic's power by 1000%. Before Sonic turned dark, he was exposed to 14 different fake Chaos Emeralds in his lifetime. Oh. Remember, this is multiplication, not addition. So the power of Dark Sonic should actually rise exponentially, giving Sonic a 1 million percent power increase instead of 1,000, since 1,000 times 1,000 is 1 million. Of oh. course, the true power of Dark Sonic is unknown, and a million percent increase could be considered a highball. However, Sonic's power rose so high he couldn't control it anymore. The same Sonic who goes super casually in the Sonic X series and knows a thing or two about controlling chaos energy. So if he obtained so much energy that he lost control, this should be something to consider. Now back to Goku Black. Black has a special form known as Super Saiyan Rose. His Super, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Rose, Rose is far more powerful than a Super Saiyan Blue form from that of both Goku and Vegeta. And he was easily on par with Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Spoiler alert, but after a long time, really? you gonna say that now? A Super Saiyan Blue That's Goku way too late. Fusion into Vegito to I mean, unless they're watching Goku the dub. In terms of so, power. No, but remember, no, no. Goku Black wears a single Patara earring and a time ring. The latter of which allows him to travel between different timelines at will. So after the battle, Zamasu was still able to exist. It indeed needed an additional Beerus Hakai to fully erase this wicked mind. When it comes to weaknesses, Hakai. both share similar problems, as they both have mental roadblocks that limit their full potential. Really? Dark Sonic acts in blind rage and pure anger, which results in far less tactical thinking and far more raw instinct. Goku Black is extremely cocky and arrogant. He thinks he knows everything and that he is flawless. Both <laughs> of these characters share a unique bond with the dark side. Dark Sonic and Goku Black have many that are still unknown to this day. They are extremely powerful uh, and their biggest threat is their own ambitions and psyche. Hmm. It is now time we set ourselves a circumstance. This battle is going to take place in the Lava Reek Zone with no preparation. This will Duh. give Sonic the home court advantage, which yeah. would increase his chance of victory. The fact that there's no preparation does give the mental state an even play field. And now that the circumstance bar has finally loaded, it's time to rewind Rumble. We should have said, oh yeah, it's time to re rewind this Rumble. But, nah. This is my little opinion. We got. Huh. Is this made by Redux? <laughs> my God. So good. So crispy clean. So crispy clean. Ah. Huh? Strange. What? What's this energy I'm sensing? He came in like a wrecking ball. I mean, I'm always back. Pulling ball. Use energy. Oh. That's, if you thought you just make all of it. Okay. You clearly don't know who you're dealing with. Let me let me demonstrate. The world has not been designed for it's such a bad time to for it in ad. Easy to get around. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. I love the first episode. I swear, if you lose because of lava, I swear to God. 
Only bring it to Rosane. <laughs> you brought it out the Rosane and the blade. You can never leave the blade out. Divide myself. Divide myself. Oh. So juicy. Yes, the blade. Use the blade. At least tell me finish with the blade. Coffee, coffee. Ooh, we're finishing. Yeah, I was I was actually expecting to buy myself. I'd probably play like a with something. Like something more flashier than that. I really hope you enjoyed that animation. Special thanks to Drew Viz X. This guy is extremely talented. Not only is he a Redux animator, yeah, but an all-around great guy in general. He definitely deserves more attention within the animation community. He is insanely talented. Also, yeah. special thanks to Revolution, BTL Video Productions, Anime Freak 17, and Sonic Man 1006 for gathering all the information and stats for both characters. Once again, I did hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy what's in store for this channel. Please stay tuned till the yeah. end of this video to find out who's next and to get an important update on yeah, this channel which as is well as the Shadow vs. Sasuke. We got to be surprised that the The first two episodes of v one Rumble is two Sonic characters. That's a surprise. Goku Black has claimed victory over Dark Sonic and we are about to discuss the many reasons why. Goku Black is statistically superior to Dark Sonic in almost every way imaginable. Now, of course, yeah. we don't know the true power or peak of each character, so at the very least, we gave each character a very generous estimation and very generous highballs. The worst place to start any Sonic debate is speed, but it's the best place to hammer in just how different the literally. power levels each because character even is though statistically. The Sonic characters are made er, many times in the past, literally but surely specialized in nice speed. To give Sonic the speed edge just through association of being known as a speedy character. Character. But the hard reality is, Goku Black and higher tier Dragon Ball Super characters have consistently shown faster speed feats than Sonic has in the Sonic X series. Yeah. Remember, Sonic X Super Sonic is different from Game Modern Sonic. In the Sonic X episode of Cosmic Call, Super Sonic traveled great distances in space. Using star measurements, Super Sonic traveled roughly one light year in about 32 seconds, making him 100,000 times the speed of light. If we use the Dark Sonic multiplier discussed in the pre-analysis, yeah, this which would is make Dark one, Sonic uh, 100 million. million times the speed of light. This <laughs> is insanely fast. The only crazy thing is that Goku Black is much, much faster. As calculated right, by Revolution, you know, so base Goku traveled from King Kai's planet to Earth, which is a distance of half the observable universe, in two days. This would make this feat roughly 600 billion times the speed of light. Now if we use... Si <laughs> Why? <laughs> Saiyan multipliers all the way to Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Goku would reach 342 decillion times the speed of light. That's not considering the fact that Goku Black was much faster than Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but I'm part of Super Saiyan Blue God. Vegeta. Just with this speed gap alone, things are no longer fair. But that's no, not what it's not. Added. Goku Black has defeated universe busters such as Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. The best thing we can do for Dark Sonic is assume that he is 1,000 times more powerful than the Solar System Super Sonic who beat the Solar System level Dark Oak. This will make at best Dark Sonic Multi-Galaxy Plus in all categories, which is <laughs> extremely generous to be honest. And even with that generosity, it's still nowhere near Goku's level. Plus, there's the fact that Dark Sonic's biggest threat is staying in that form for prolonged periods of time. And he acts purely in blind rage, like an animal yeah. off of instinct, as he loses the ability to stay calm and think tactically. Yeah. Now, Goku Black isn't some calm, relaxed man by any means. He but is he's not, but he's... Tactical in the heat of yeah. battle when compared to Dark Sonic. Goku Black had the skill level to precisely stab Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and beat him. Dark Sonic and Goku Black share many mysterious similarities, but the main difference is that Dark Sonic holds back his demons while Goku Black lets them run free. 
While this does make Sonic a far better and more moral individual, it makes Goku Black the winner of the first Rewind Rumble. Now, Which is a DBZ Goku character. Black versus Bizarro? Back in that episode, huh. we offered the anti-hero free-for-all. And yeah. that free-for-all is still up for grabs and will combine the likes of both videos, both that one and this one. Hmm. So be sure to like this video if you want to see an anti-hero free-for-all with the likes of Wario, Shadow, Goku Black, Bizarro, and many more. If the combined if total is 25,000 more likes, which is how many likes more the left, team. that free-for-all will happen. Yeah, also, you guys should, yeah, go in the description below, go like that like button, tell other people to like that like button, so we can get that free-for-all. find out who's fighting next on the next Shout episode of Rewind Rumble. I'm so used to him saying on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Pathetic humans. Great. Who are you? That's right up next yeah. is Sasuke versus Shadow. And that's coming Sorry, I was trying to move it on the volume November. next. Skip I'm not it. exactly sure when, but it should be out next month. This series yeah. is so early and new, I don't have an exact schedule, and I don't know how fast I want to produce each now. of these episodes for two major reasons. One, they're extremely expensive. A Rewind Rumble costs far more than, say, a Joe Cartoon Flight Club episode. And I'm not sure how well these Rewind Rumble episodes are going to do. This channel is extremely new and small. So I'd appreciate if you guys spread the word of this new series. Special okay, to the very you guys, read some more drown. Who physically spread the word about this series on their own channels. Shoutouts to Ninja DFX and Steven Z Killer. They both support me on Patreon. They both hmm. spread the word through their own channels, and I'm very thankful for that. So thank you to you guys. If anyone else wants to support us on Patreon, it would be greatly appreciated. Just one dollar a month, my best, which is essentially three I'm pounds a day, best. could do wonders beyond imagine. You don't even know. The second reason why I don't have a set schedule yet is because, regardless of the budget, these rewind rumbles do take a while to make. Quality yeah, because even though you just say like, uh, this episode uh, counting four, every four to months you gotta have a cart, six months. Uh, rewind, now, a rewind a rumble, which I don't really think intros, that's the best idea. Intros and everything. So future episodes, why they will still take a while, they should go at least quicker, since those hurdles have already been jumped. Plus, I still have to run Cartoon Fight Club on the Animation Rewind channel. Cartoon Fight Club is not going anywhere. Rewind Rumble wasn't created to end Cartoon Fight Club. It was created to split the serious fights from the meme fights. All hmm. of the Joe, Creepypasta, meme, and funny fights will be featured on Cartoon Fight Club, and the super high-definition serious fights will be on Rewind Rumble. Now, yeah. Cartoon Fight Club will still have serious fights. In fact, the next CFC is a serious battle between Goku and Godzilla. So for anyone who likes Cartoon Fight Club, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing is changing with that. Really? For that, that's not a competition. Cycle, I hope you give this new series a chance. Yeah. It's my goal to really make this series something special. This is only the beginning, and if you enjoyed it, stay tuned for what the future has to hold. Because our team is only going God, to be better and as real. Group, but we need your help to spread the word of this channel. Okay. If you can't support us on Patreon, at the very least, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or text it to a friend. Animation on YouTube is really tough to sustain, so every share matters greatly. Also, I did decide to shuffle up how we did post and pre-analysis for the research, mainly because this series is 100% serious, so I need to find creative ways to make this series unique. Hmm. I haven't seen any other Versus show, at least that I know, that combines both characters in the same analysis. It's usually character X, character Y, fight Z, then post analysis. But I want to find a creative way to have everything just nicely boxed in and easy to watch without skipping over. Because I've noticed in Cartoon Flight Club Season 3, the all... Hey, um, um, uh, can you have a uh, dinner of your, uh, um, no. car for school? No, you, no, no, no. Oh, one, um, Alright, I'll give you that card. No. Okay. Okay. No. Okay, I'll keep one. Just keep it in. Okay, it might come out. Alright. Uh. Anyways, yeah, sorry, that was my brother. But let's get out with it. 
audience retention shows viewers are skipping the post analysis for being very long. So I'm not sure if that's a problem or not. Now keep in mind that doesn't mean I do less research. In fact, we did more for this episode, but we are trying to find creative ways to present that stuff to you in a much quicker and more easier obtainable way. But let me know what you think about that. This is not permanent. I could change it and go back to the old way at least for the pre-analysis stuff, but if you mm -hmm. liked it, then we could keep it. Once keep again, it, keep I hope it. you enjoyed this video. If you watch this video, keep this it. Series. I'm Animation Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later. <laughs> Good. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, go check out the news video. Let me... <laughs> Done. That video below me, the creepy pasta free free for all. Expect that either tonight. Expect that either tonight or tomorrow or sometime this weekend or probably Monday. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post it and record it and all that stuff. Which I have some videos recorded already. I use um yeah, the video right now that, well, not the video right now, but the video that you're watching, probably watching, which is Death Bell's Naruto vs. Ichigo. That one I recorded on yesterday, so as you, so I have some videos ready for this week, well, the weekend and next week, in case if I don't post anything, I'm just tired. Well, it might be tired, I don't know. Because even though if I do record at night, my vibe is, well, my vibe is much different at night than in the morning because I'll be like, hey, yeah, 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 it's screaming. But at night, I'm just like all tired. But even though it making it worse, uh, whenever I do record, it's all depending on what time. It could be 9 o'clock, 9, uh, 9 p.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m. How late is at, is at least 1.30 a.m. But yes, guys, like I said multiple times in this video, go in the description below, go support, rewind, rewind Rumble, all that stuff, go support it, go tell Animation Rewind that it's a great series, like, even though the first episode was freaking great, but even though if he is going to do that, like, mash two characters, um, pre, um, analysis, for example, like, for this video, I like that much better than actually doing it one, like say like a, it's like good two minutes, but instead like well four minutes total. Well, uh, it's all depending. It could be uh, let's just say Charizard versus Ichigo versus Naruto, and then all of them take up like two minutes. Instead of taking up six minutes, you can have like two minutes to collide actually. But I like this. I like this better. I like this one better than some. Well, of course, I like this one better than than pe other people's analysis. Because yeah, they try spicing stuff, try to throw a joke in here and there, try to throw a joke in there here and there. But I like it's not like it's really time consuming, especially for the viewer too. It's so time consuming. But I like this better. Oof, I keep saying the same thing. I like this better than how other people do their rest of the show. <sighs> but if you like this video, call, please come here, mail that like button, phone, computer, tablet. Why you do? Why you use watch watch this video? Come here, mail that screen. Dragon fist the dragon fist the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it whenever you get the chance. But without further ado, guys, peace.